Hi and welcome to the Path Visualizer tutorial. To get started we'll do a rundown of the general use of the plugin on a text layer and then we'll go into specifics regarding shape layers and masks. I've got some text here, I'm going to add Path Visualizer and to help us visualize this a bit better I'm going to lower the opacity of the text. There we can see we're drawing vertices and handles or tangents. Under vertices we can see we've got some different styles here. I'm going to keep with diamond and I'll increase the size of that a bit. Also I'll make them yellow. We also have the option of adding a stroke here. I'll set that to 5 and set it to the default color. That creates a pretty stylized look there. We also have opacity which will affect the opacity of the vertices and the stroke. Then coming down to handles we can turn these on or off if we like. Then we can set the stroke width for those. I'm going to make this pretty much hairline. And we can also artificially lengthen or shorten these handles but I'll leave them at their default. We also have the color for those handles and an opacity. Coming down to caps, we can choose if we want to draw handle caps, yes or no. I'm going to draw some circles and make them a bit bigger. By default, they'll inherit the same color as the handle. However, you can choose whichever color you prefer. You can also add a stroke width to these as well and choose a custom color for it. Moving on to original path, we can turn that on. That'll save you duplicating the layer and drawing a stroke. We can choose the width for that, the color and opacity. Pretty simple. Next, the animation engine. We can enable this here and I'm going to keyframe the completion from 100% to zero. If we watch that back, we'll see it looks a little bit boring and hectic at the same time. So what I'll do is, although I want to draw the original path, I don't want that animating on. If the animate box is ticked and you're doing an animation, it's pretty much just going to like trim paths it, which you may or may not want. In this case, I don't want that. To make it more interesting, I'm going to shorten the length of the animation and then I'm going to stagger this, so two frames. This will stagger the animation per vertex that you have. So currently per vertex that I have, it's going to stagger the animation two frames. And the great thing about this animation system is that it inherits your easing. So I'm going to add some ease and whiz to this to make it look more interesting. There we go, that looks a lot better. You can also change the auto modifier. Currently the P is being drawn first, however we can draw the V first. And there's also a random function as well. Another great thing is that Path Visualizer updates live, so any changes to our text or if you add text animators, that's going to work as well. So I'm going to set the keyframe for the scale and scale that right down. And everything's going to work as... That's going to add a bit more life to our animation. So that's it for the basics of Path Visualizer on text. Now we'll just talk about the specifics of using it on a shape layer and using it with masks. So let's add Path Visualizer to this. The plugin knows that we're not on a text layer, so it's giving us this mask parameter here. I'm just going to draw a quick mask, solo that, and we want to disable the mask, otherwise it's going to clip the layer. Then we can choose our mask, and right away it's updating live with our mask. By default, the original path is turned off, so you may want to check that, and then we can see it's rendering the mask itself. If you're ever in a situation where you're wanting to draw a very hairline mask, you can see sometimes we get this aliasing. One way to combat that is to lower the opacity, but then increase the width. And now we're getting much less aliasing. Now onto shape layers. If we want to draw a shape layer, unfortunately we can't use any of these presets. However, the pen tool will let us create a custom shape. Then we add Path Visualizer. To get it to work, we have to do one more step, which is to create a dummy mask. So if we click this here and set it to draw a mask, create a blank mask, mask path to our shape layer. And that translation allows the plugin to accept that mask. And then to draw the original path, we can either draw it with the shape layer itself, or if you like, you can disable that and then draw it using Path Visualizer. That's up to you. It's just that if we draw it with Path Visualizer, we have the option that the animation is going to affect that path. Or if you'd like to use some more advanced features such as dashes, you can not draw the original path with Path Visualizer, you can just draw it as normal. But otherwise it works pretty much the same. It's gonna update live, you can animate it. All these other features work the exact same on text and masks. So that's it for Path Visualizer. If you create some cool animations, please send them in. We'd love to see what you can create. Probably this stuff that's a lot better than our promo material. That's it from us. Hope you enjoy Path Visualizer.